Hello guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the garage. So, tonight we're working once again on the race truck, as is very typical. Well, that's pretty much all we do anymore. Um, we're trying to get this thing ready to race, um, and we have a lot of work to do with our front clip, our bed sides, all that kind of stuff. Now, we are not going to be working on those items tonight, as I'm still kind of formulating my plan of how we're going to attach everything. Um, it's one of those things, you get it, you kind of have an idea what you're going to do, and then it gets here, and you know what? We're going to change this all up. So we got a couple other things we're going to change up as well, um, but when we mount this thing, we'll be able to get rid of that entire front end stuff, um, all the steel up there, all that kind of stuff, lighten the truck up even more than we already have. But for tonight, we have a safety item. So somebody had commented, I can't remember who, about the interior of the truck. So we look at our driver's side door. We have no handle to get out over here. And I was gonna put just a, another little wire handle like we have on the passenger side over there, if you guys can see, I know it's dark. Just something simple, easy, so I get a, can get in and out of the truck um, when we have to. But so, as somebody pointed out, and really I just wasn't thinking, we need a good, reliable way, you know, something we can easily grab and get out of the truck in case something happens. So that's what we're gonna get into tonight, the putting interior door handles on the truck. So these parts are in this box right here, and they come from Tim McAmis Performance Parts. Uh, if you guys haven't, check out their YouTube videos. Uh, Tim McAmis, if you watch his videos, I don't know much more about him than his videos. And what they do is they build race cars. Um, and I mean, like legit stuff. So if you watch their videos, they have a bunch of different, you know, kits and stuff you can buy to put together for, you know, like a pro mod or something like that. And I'm talking not even like diesel stuff, like it's all gas stuff that they do, um, at least that I've seen. But basically they build the entire chassis from the ground up and all that. So that's where these parts come in. So we'll get our box opened up here, we'll get our parts laid out and talk about what we got. So I was trying to shake the thing out of the box, but we got a whole lot of box for a whole little amount of parts. Everything was wrapped up real nice. Um, got a couple pieces of 1032 all thread, uh, a couple little tabs, our brackets, um, nuts, bolts, washers, all that kind of stuff. We got some little like hind joint things. So, oh, and our handle. So how this thing works, I put one together with the spring already. We'll mount this. This would end up being our driver's side. We'll mount that. Inside on the driver's side door, we'll have to cut a slot obviously for the handle and then we will run our rod back from here, which is what this 1032 threaded rod is for. Um, now Tim McAmis still, uh, sells like a latch kit and all that. Since we are using our factory door handle on the outside and our factory latch setup, what we will have to do is figure out a way to adapt this all thread to our factory um, linkage. Really, what I will probably do is probably weld it together or something because I don't want to go bending all thread because um, even though this is about the same size as that, when you bend all thread, you make it like incredibly weak. So what we'll do is we'll figure out a way to adapt that to there and get it all installed in our factory latch. But this gets mounted to the door. We got a spring um, to return our, our handle and then there's a little stop down there so this will be mounted to the door and then you just pull the handle back and it opens like your normal inside latch now you will see a lot of guys use these and they'll just have them here and have a hole in the lexan which is fine just use that rather than using the door handle um, i like the look of having the door handle to keep it kind of looking like a truck but also more importantly i really didn't want to put like i don't know a three inch hole in our lexan um, I like the, the factory door handle. I think it's much cleaner than that hole and all that. So anyway, guys, that we're gonna get to it. Not really that complicated. It might be a bit of a pain with our setup because as you can see, we have one, two access holes. I don't know how easily it is going to be to get up there with my hand, 
but before we do anything we have to put our kirky seat back in that way i can sit in there and see where exactly on the door is comfortable for me um looking at it with our funny car cage and all it'll probably be in this area right here um in order to open the door so we'll get to putting our kirky in we'll get our tim mcamus uh, latch kit installed and we will have a good set of inside latches so we can safely exit the vehicle in a hurry which hopefully is never the case well unless we're just excited because we just did something amazing but we don't want it to be an emergency type situation so let's get to installing this stuff and uh well let's get to installing this stuff Eternity later. Well, our handle is installed and looking good. So we got our first handle installed here on the driver's side. A um, little bit of a process, and that's just because of how I have things with these two holes. I was trying not to put another hole in the door of the truck because we're going to make some aluminum you know, covers for here. Um, but anyway, kind of figured out where in relationship to my seating position is comfortable to grab the handle, which is about right here, um, say our third rivet in. Um, kind of drilled out an area and just kind of worked it till it fit and figured out our mounting for the um, handle. Now that's where the big issue is. Uh, this was way more of a pain in the ass than it should have been. And that's just kind of because of the bolting. So as you guys can see here, it's kind of on this uptick here. So if you look at our handle, I don't know if you guys can see that, I kind of had to put an offset in it, kick it in, and then kick it back out to kind of get it to match the door. But that wasn't the issue. The issue was the bolting. So these two bolts aren't too bad to get to, even with our holes in the um, non-optimal spots for this. But this last one, that last one, really a pain. So. If we look at our passenger side door handle, you can see why. So the top two, not a big deal. The bottom one, when the handle is in place, which you have to have this bolted in before you do anything, because how you're gonna do it behind the door, well, it'd be really even worse. Um, but behind that handle is our third hole. So you gotta try and figure out a way to fish that nut up in there, hold it, and then put your bolt in. So it's just this little hardware right here. I don't know if this, this isn't even 1032 because our all thread is 1032. So it's even smaller than that. Um, what I ended up was, what I ended up doing was actually, um, I don't know if you guys can still see the residual on there, but I ended up super gluing the nut to the box wrench and then I could hold it in there and 
kind of get my my bolt started I mean you had to be very ginger with it otherwise it would pop out uh, maybe I just wasn't letting super glue set up enough I don't know but I lined the inside of the door with rags I don't know if you guys can see it probably can't but my first few attempts I didn't and then I had to take this door off shake it all around to find my my nut and all that was just really a pain and we can't do that on the passenger side because then we'd have to unbolt the hinges and we go through that nightmare again so we're going to line the passenger side with rags and do all that also with our linkage as you guys can see here i actually had to weld our all thread to our um our round bar that was factory because i did try and bend the um the all thread and as i said earlier it gets weak but i was like ah let me give it a shot yeah definitely too weak uh it just kind of came right apart so kind of figured out my measurement for that got it all in there so now we can even lock the door look at our lock and the door opens so the handle is in the best spot for me basically what i was looking at is you know coming off the steering wheel go over and I can grab the handle so wherever our window net is it will hopefully be in front of that but that is kind of the most comfortable spot for me in the truck with our seating position so we'll move on to the passenger side like I said we'll line it with rags so if we drop a nut you know we don't have to take the door off and shake it all about to get it but we'll get that other door handle installed and that should be good then we will safely be able to exit the vehicle no matter what happens we will have a latch to get out of the truck. So we got our passenger side latch in, kind of the same thing as the driver's side, but we already knew where we wanted the latch, basically the same as the driver's side. So we measured back, put it up there, drilled some holes, cut out our little cutout for the handle, um, made our linkage. Once again, the bolts were a complete pain. Uh, super glued these two onto the bracket, the bottom one, wasn't working out real good. So super glued that to the wrench once again and spent uh, a while um, just trying to get that thing lined up and in there. We finally did, we got a good working latch. So if something happens, say the truck rolls, driver side, passenger side, we can get out, you know, just hit that latch and we're out. Everything's good. Now, one thing that I have neglected, and I noticed this when I got in the driver's side, and I may have said it already, I can't remember, but we have no, no strap, no handle, or anything to close the doors from the inside. Passenger side, not a big deal. We have no reason to close this tightly from the inside on the passenger side of the truck. Now on the driver's side, this is a different story. We're gonna get in the truck to go, you know, stage the truck, line the truck up and run the truck. But we have no good way to close the door. Right now I've been grabbing this, this hole, this handle, that hole to close the door. I wanna cover these holes up so we're not getting foreign material into them. And I really don't wanna keep yanking on this aluminum uh, handle. It's just really in there to go like this. We keep yanking on it this way, eventually it's gonna start coming you know, in and bending. It's not what I wanna do. What we need to do is 
make a handle or a strap or you know a strap handle whatever so i can close the door from the inside right now i'm just grabbing this stuff to make sure the door is closed when we start racing the truck really we should have a good grasping point um, like on your normal truck you have that handle to grab and close the door we want that do i want to close the door in the same fashion i do my daily driver no i want to be a little gentler but i want something firm i can pull on rather than something like this so what we'll probably do is make a strap or a uh, handle with a backing plate on here so we have a good firm thing that we can grab and pull the door shut and make sure it's shut um, like i said the passenger side not a big deal because on the passenger side all we have to do is we have no reason to have to pull it from the inside These while we're the at the track us. and uh google apparently felt the need to talk uh let me get my phone real quick so pardon that little interruption from my cell phone for whatever reason google picked up on something when i was speaking to you know just do what it does i don't know why there was nothing said about google i don't know anyway our latches are in definitely uh digging how they turned out i'm liking the whole setup this tim mcamus kit is very nice um as you guys can see the latch is just perfect it works um it's got the spring so it comes back and all that the bolting these little they're not even 1032 because the all thread was 1032 and these are smaller but um yeah a bit of a pain now what how we have our door cut out maybe this is not how those kind of guys do this uh like i said when they you know build their parts they're kind of making them for pro mods you know do they cut the whole thing open is it already open i don't know but this bottom bolt especially what a pain it just getting to it i mean the line and everything up and getting the linkage set up easy the bolting was a big trouble and for these small bolts to give, to give me problems, um, it's irritating. <laughs> you know, you don't expect it. And But we didn't have to drill another hole or an access panel for it, so I'm happy about that. But happy with the end result nonetheless. So, like I told you guys before, you could use those handles, put a hole here on, in your door, open your door that way, but I really did not want to have that hole in my Lexan. I think this right here is a much cleaner look than having a hole in it. You know, we have our handle. It kind of looks a little more factory and all that. Handle didn't cost us anything. You know, we already had it with our doors and all that. But I just, I like the, the look and the feel of having a factory handle on the truck. Um, just personal preference, I guess. So anyway, guys, nothing major on the truck, but as at least one of you guys pointed out in the comments, something we definitely needed on both the driver and the passenger side, a way to get out of the truck. Um, I definitely was not that worried about it on the passenger side until I saw that comment and thought about it like, you know what, you're right. Never thought about it because when you're building something like this, yes, you're building it for safety, but you're not thinking well when i wreck it i need to do this so definitely a big shout out to you i can't remember your name sorry but anyway guys nice handle kit from tim mcamus um, they make a lot of great videos and a lot of great parts for race cars and race trucks so check them out if you're building something similar they have hinge kits they have uh, body mounting kits if all kinds of stuff go check them out so i hope you guys enjoyed we're just one step closer we need to put a handle in there and we have a lot of other stuff to do like figuring out our fiberglass as you can see i kind of stopped when i'd get frustrated on a door handle and kind of look at that a little bit and move that around and that's going to be its own special project i guess it's uh it's going to take some doing it's going to take some time and certainly taking taking man it's getting late <laughs> and it's a school night but anyway it's going to definitely take its its own special amount of time to figure out exactly how we want to do that and do it right so anyway guys i hope you enjoyed please like the video subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and get out in your garage get the wrench on your truck